Have you started a low carb diet and seen that your LDL cholesterol has gone up? Or are you considering a low carb diet but concerned that your LDL might go up and worried about what this might mean for your health? Well, now a new study suggests if you have a calcium score of zero, it may not mean much. I'm Dr. Brett Scher, the medical director at dietdoctor.com, and I want to talk about this study because it's such an important issue in the low carb community, specifically for very low carb or ketogenic diets. There's this group of people who have a hyper response, lean mass hyper responders, or just hyper responders in general, to a low carb or ketogenic diet, which is where the LDL goes up significantly. Now, first putting it in a context, we have a number of studies recently that show on average for the majority of the people who have type two diabetes or who are following a low carb or ketogenic diet for weight loss, that on average, the LDL does not go up. And in fact, there was a recent one where the LDL particle went down. And it's clear, triglycerides go down, HDL goes up, and the overall size of the LDL particle gets bigger with fewer small LDL particles. So all that is beneficial, but that doesn't change the fact that there's this subset where the LDL goes up dramatically and it's a very emotional and concerning response. Well, this, this study in atherosclerosis that was published recently wasn't specifically about hyper responders, but it was had a very interesting subset. So I wanna talk about this study. What they did was, they looked at 560 um, patients who are part of this MESA study, the multi-ethnic study of atherosclerosis, who were not on statin therapy and had a calcium score of zero on their first visit. Then approximately 10 years later, they had a second calcium score. And what they wanted to see was, um, for those who had remained a calcium score of zero or who didn't, what was the uh, event rate for cardiovascular events? And one thing that was really interesting was they found about half of the people who had LDLs above 190 still had a zero zero calcium score almost 10 years later. Now that kind of goes against the traditional thinking in cardiology that any LDL above 190 is very dangerous and clearly needs to be treated right away because it's going to stimulate a progression of disease. Now these patients on average were 61 years old. So it's not like you're doing calcium scores in 20 or 30 year olds where you're saying you haven't had enough time to develop the disease. They were 60 years old, LDL greater than 190, and that was the highest likelihood of maintaining a zero calcium score was in the group with the LDL greater than 190. I find that pretty surprising, but also uh, very eye-opening that just reinforcing this concept that not all elevated LDL is the same. Instead, maybe knowing more about the LDL or the, more about the metabolic health or the overall health of the individual or the genetics of the individual, there's so much more information that needs to be uh, taken in rather than just the LDL itself. And this study shows that with over half of the patients with LDL greater than 190 still having a zero calcium score 10 years later. Now, what they also found was those who maintained a zero calcium score, all comers who maintained a zero calcium score, had events rates that were half of the event rates of those who developed calcium 10 years later. So it was 4.3 events per thousand person years versus 8.6. So if you flip that around, they calculated the number needed to treat. If someone had a zero calcium score, you would need to treat 117 people with a statin for that 10 year period to reduce one cardiovascular event, not death, but one event. Whereas if they had developed calcium in that 10 year period, you had to treat 54 of those people for 10 years uh, to re reduce an event. So pretty significant difference. So I guess the take homes are one, there, there is power in a calcium score, the power of zero, not 100%, but pretty good, much better than a lot of things we have. The other take home though is, is the, you know, surprise that uh, those patients with high LDL above 190, that over half of them maintained a zero calcium score and a low cardiovascular risk. So this doesn't say anything about hyper responders. I wanna make that clear. This was not a hyper responder study, but what it does is it adds to the literature that makes us say, hmm, there's something more to this. There's something more that we need to know beyond just LDL above 190, and we cannot make the assumption that all LDL above 190 is equally dangerous in all people. Uh, and this study lends some credence to that. If you have familial hypercholesterolemia, different story. If you have type two diabetes or metabolic syndrome, likely a very different story. What are your triglycerides and your HDL and your levels of inflammation and oxidation? 
that can make it a different story. So this is just sort of a little more fuel to the fire that we need to know more. We need to take our time and not necessarily do a knee-jerk reaction to all LDLs above 190 as being dangerous. All right. Again, doesn't prove it's not dangerous, right? But it does show the need for individualization, at least in my interpretation of this. Hope this was helpful. Please click the thumbs up and the subscribe button below and leave us a comment. And that way you'll make sure you get all updates from us in the future here on Die Doctor News on YouTube. Thanks a lot, everybody. Mm -hmm.